Right. And they say, well, wait, 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 this is what I received that I gave you when I was here. Right. Now, here it is. And as you mentioned, most scholars think this was written before any of the Gospels. Oh, yeah, long before. The, this was probably written uh, somewhere around 55, 56 A.D., uh, you know, 20 some years after the, the crucifixion and the resurrection and the ascension of Christ. Uh, so this is this is very early in the history of the church. All right. And then what about the institution itself, Father, the words of the institution? Well, I think Paul is again reiterating it that it's not uh, that the institution is exactly that. It's these words. And he's giving them those words again. And, Miraculously, it's the same words that we use in the Mass for the, instant, for the consecration of the Eucharist. That it's, it's, it's not just a, a food party, or it's not just we're going to sit down and have a meal. You know, this is, this is really the Eucharist, and the Eucharist is brought about by these words, the words of the, of the priest, and we can't forget that. That's, that. Again, he's taking them back to basics. When you were a Baptist, my guess is that you probably celebrated the Lord's Supper once a month or once, once a Once a month, yeah. Once a month. With these words? Similar, very similar words, yeah. yeah. But uh, again, it was, uh, it was once a month and, you know, very simple, you know. My guess is that if we went down to the very words himself, this is my body, which is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. It's in many ways. It's from those words that are separated, brothers and sisters. Get the idea that it was merely a symbol. Well, yeah, I think we've more tried to put it into a symbol because we're comfortable with that. You know, uh, I've seen translations of the Bible that says, uh, "This is like my body." Okay, that would be a symbol. And you know, this this pen is like something else that I have. But when it says, it's very definitive, this is my body. Now it's, now it's not symbol anymore. Now it's reality. It brings, those words bring something into reality. Uh, those words bring the bread, the unconsecrated bread, into the reality of the Eucharist. Uh, it's, uh, yeah, the, the, again, those, as you've said, the, there's a layer there, are many layers. And as you pull back one, you discover another yeah. one. And I think too many times as a Baptist, I've just, again, zoomed through this and read that, oh, that's nice, and, and everything. Yeah, we have, we have communion, but it, it, there's a difference between communion and institution of the Eucharist. Yeah. yeah, and one of those layers would be, in, historically, we remember the image of Luther banging the table uh, it's a historical event when he was in a room banging the table with the other reformers and he's banging the table because in German he's demanding that it is the body of Christ he does not want to let go of it being the body of Christ this is my body he's, he's saying in German and you had um, the, the, the more radical reformers going the symbol route right and um, the, the problem was, now when we look back, is that Luther, in opening the door, found himself in an indefensible position because that which he had thrown out, which is the authority of the church, and therefore the priesthood, he no longer had a, a foundation to stand on to demand that it was that which Christ said it was. Because right. mm -hmm. without the church, without the priesthood, then then what about the words of institution? Can anybody say them? Do they have right. any meaning, any foundation? Right. He found out he had, he'd painted himself into a corner. There was no place to go from here. And, uh, you know, whether he even gave, the, I think, the analogy of an eight-year-old child, uh, you know, reading the, the words of Scripture and... And then all of a sudden, it, it, a light went off, and he said, "Oops, you know, yeah. where do we go from here?" Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I mean, there is, again, this is this uh, the significance which we would see if we had time to look into some of the writings of the early church fathers. 
where we see them saying that where the bishop is, there's the Eucharist. Yeah. Well, even St. Paul here, before we even get to chapter 11, I think it's in verse chapter 4, where uh, Paul says, I have become, uh, uh, for I became your father in Christ through the gospel. You know? and, and again, a reference to his leadership in, in the church and his, his apostolic authority in the, in the, in the body of Christ. And, and it's there that he begins to go through all of this and, and he doesn't leave out the Eucharist. Uh, there, there, he, you know, he gives, as you, uh, as you had said previously, he gives advice to married couples. He, you know, he, there's, there's, this whole letter seems to be about conversion. Yeah. You know. 